What if nowhere was too remote to connect? My research activity these days is about connecting remote areas, connecting the unconnected during COVID time. That connectivity, in a way, was the modern phase of inequality between the have and have not in this digital context. So obviously, not being connected kind of uh, doesn't give you access to many benefits, to many services that people who are connected are able to, to get. About one third of the world population is still unconnected or underconnected. We are talking about three billion people that are still not fully benefiting from the internet. So, you know, we are still far from uh, global or universal connectivity. But for me, uh, really, a moment where I realized that there is a nice opportunity to do good research is when I chose to get into this area of connect the unconnected. I found a very good synergy on trying to look at satellite communication, HAPS communication, and also the need to use free space optic or laser link to interconnect these platforms. The approach that is being uh, adopted is more to go towards air and space, to use more uh, platform in the air or satellite in space to connect this remote region because when you go to higher altitude, you have better coverage and you can, with a single base station, uh, essentially cover uh, large areas, uh, even if these large areas are sparsely populated. I am Mohammed Slim Al-Alwini. I'm on a mission to make universal connectivity a reality.